Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to talk about your shop's keywords, not keyword research, but what actual people coming to your shop or searching for your shop are seeing. So we're going to start, we're going to go to marketing and I'm going to start with search analytics. Okay. And this is, I had, this is my paperly people shop. And this, I had 316 visits to my shop with Etsy search. Um, 0% resulted in a sale. Nothing resulted in a sale. So part of this for me, okay, I sell planners and it's July. And quite honestly, um, nobody's planning anything because of the situation in the world. So let's go to this year, okay? Because I really need to know what's happening when my shop is normally doing well. So for you, it may be that your best sales time is May through August if you're doing weddings. It could be that your best sales time is October through December because you sell Christmas things. Okay, you need to know what your best sales times are or if not your best sales times, your industry best sales time. So for me, I do better looking like Jet, like December through January would be probably my very best time to get the kinds of data that I need, but I'm just gonna use this year. And so um, eBay is a good one. I need to start making notes about what I want to, um, to really think about, okay? So eBay, I only have one eBay listing, right? Um, eBay sheet made 1050. So it looks like there are a lot of questions about eBay that I'm not answering for them. Now, does that mean I'm going to make a product? Um, I'm going to call this potential products. And we're going to put this on the worksheet that I'm making for myself. Do, 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 Because I want to know not only what I'm selling, but if I'm a vintage seller, what I should be sourcing. If I'm a digital seller, what I should be making. If I'm a one-of-a-kind seller, what I should be making, right? So there's a lot of stuff that we can learn from the keywords that people are already searching for that my shop my personal shop is um is doing well for right okay so we're gonna we're gonna i'm gonna do this i want to have numbers so let's see keyword product what did i call it potential products I am so full, honestly. Okay. And I'm going to do it this way. Doop, doop. Well, that did not work the way I intended it to. Maybe I'm not as cool as I think I am, but there we go. All right. One. We already got lines there. Okay. So. I don't have to build it, but I'm going to do one through ten. I need to have ten potential product ideas once I know what Etsy thinks my shop is about. Real estate. That makes sense. Real estate planner. MLM planner. Okay. Let's make sure. Because I have direct sales planner. But do I have my, my direct sales planner, network marketing planner? Okay. And those are different things. Okay. Network marketing is for, um, my friend Kerr is a network marketer. She helped me do the direct sales sheet, direct sales planner. Network marketing is more like passion parties where you have parties and that, 
MLMs can be something like um, Beachbody, where you don't necessarily build a team as much as you are selling um, really good products like shakes and things like that to multiple people. Okay, Network Marketing Planner, Pure Romance, yay, that's what Pure does. Direct Sales Planner, so those all three go together. So we need to know... I'm going to count those all as one. MLM, network marketing, direct sales. Okay. Pure romance, lead track, lead track. Hmm. Lead track. I have lead tracking forms. But let's see what Etsy thinks is lead track. Because that seems like a really weird so, right so lead tracker so i've lead track lead tracker lead tracking okay cm crm light and excel spreadsheet real estate planner so maybe a real estate lead tracker just let's put a question mark real estate lead tracker because I could pull out part of my planner and make just that. Um, office organizers. That's that's an Excel spreadsheet. Direct sales lead tracker. And there I am. I have two different lead tracking sheets. My pictures suck. Okay, so I need to fix pictures on lead tracking forms. All right, I didn't get to that. So that could be a reason why I show up really high in search, but I'm not selling tons of them. Let's go back to our stats. Am I selling lead trackers? No, I'm not selling lead trackers. Two by two lead sheet is in my lowest, maybe because my picture sucks. Okay, eBay template. They love eBay. Coaching planner. I have a coaching planner. Me. Like, you guys won't have Tara Jacobson, right? I teach Etsy, so um, people search for me. Etsy planner. List template. What is a list template? So you're going to take your keywords and do a search for them on, um, oh, price list templates. I don't know why they're... Let's see where they're showing mine, because I don't have anything like that. But I'm seeing clicks for it, right? Oh, I have listing templates. Okay, so that the reason why I'm not getting anything for that, conversion rate is 5%. That's weird. I made four sales. Gosh. I made 23 sales looking for me. <laughs> Poshmark, I used to have a Poshmark form. Somebody stole it and then turned me in. It was exactly like all my other ones, but you know what? I don't have time for it. Printable planner, printable planner page, real estate agent, content creator planner. I know I don't have anything that says that. I have a blogging planner that I could change into a content creator planner and it would be very good so so now let's go look that's my first page let's go look at my um other shop i'm going to do this year it's thinking 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 is it thinking Okay, so I got 4,000 visits. I made $800. Food photography prop, vintage tool. Yeah, I sell a lot of vintage tools. That works really well for me. So I have the best story about how this works and how this can help you. So I was talking to a gal and helping her with her shop when I used to do that. And she sold painted furniture 
And so she would buy these big dressers and paint them. She would buy desks. She would buy um, all kinds of stuff and paint it. And then she was having a trouble because she was trying to ship it nationwide and shipping a dresser nationwide really sucks. But come to find out that she had all kinds of keywords with nightstand, end table, um, side table, all of this. And she had more searches for the few little side tables she had than she had for all the big products she was trying to do. It was cheaper for her to buy side tables or end tables. They were more available and she could ship them so much more affordably and easily. It really opened her eyes by looking at her stuff. So straight razor, I know those do really good. Vintage straight razor scales desk accessories so that's one that could really help me um i do put that and i have 19 listings that have um that in the query flower frogs i have more i could list i have them just sitting around i just need to do that photography prop straight razors if you guys can find straight razors i do great i just sold my last inkwell i think oh yeah i had a whole bunch of those wooden spools i had a whole bunch of those um pin cushions i got a sewing lot that was really good compote base compote base that's not even a thing let's look that up no compote base Interesting. So they're taking the old-fashioned compote dishes. Oh, that's a compote base. Oh, it's a thing. But they're taking the old-fashioned compote dishes and making them compote vases. It's an actual thing. All right, so that's another keyword I can use. How many, are, how many listings are there? 2,000. 2,000 with ads. What does that mean? Okay. I don't know if that means that's how many are everywhere. So anyways, that is how you're going to use the regular search analytics. Now I have ads on both of these. So on my Etsy vintage shop, I have spent $30 a dollar a day for the last 30 days and made zero dollars revenue from ads. Now I can say I really like having this, which will tell you the search terms specifically for each kind of product. So that's getting photography props, photography, rustic vintage, photo prop. Especially if you're new, paying for the ads is a really great way to find out what, uh, what, things that people are looking for um, in relation to your specific items. This is the only way to get item specific keywords as opposed to shop specific keywords. Look, this battle axe paperweight is really cool. Desk accessories for men. Boy, they love man desk decor, man saves. Okay. So do not feel weird about turning your ads off and on. I'm turning my ads off. How do I turn them off? Turn off ads. Okay. So I don't, this is not the time of year for me to have ads on this shop. Um, a good Etsy seller would have known that. Um, but then again, I'm not. Okay. S marketing. Etsy ads. Okay. Again, is so this is last 30 days i have not made i made a buck 99 off of um these ads okay so i'm gonna leave this one on right now because this is the shop i really am working on and i want to see my search terms uh in relation to it so Tupperware, so I have unique and Tupperware in my tags. Scentsy, Party Light and Scentsy. I have like lists of, um, of 
MLMs. Sensi Business Supplies, Planning with K, Direct Sales Planner, right? There's Beachbody. Okay, so they're looking for specific planners. I wonder if I could do Passion Parties, just brand it Passion Parties Planner. So let's see what that looks like. To me, that seems like a, a copyright violation. Passion Parties Planner. Okay. Planner stickers. Passion Planner Pro. I don't know why I couldn't call it a Passion Parties Planner. Or call it a Passion for Parties Planner. Yeah, have to think through that one. Anyways, knowing these keywords can really help you to, um, especially for the individual ones. So that tells me I need to, so what does it tell me, right? Because you guys need to know um, what that means, right? So what do I do with that? Okay, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to look at my direct sales planner. So I'm going to go to my listings. I'm going to go to my direct sales. That sucker's been selling. I've sold like two of those in the last day. Sometimes when you just look at your stuff, they're going to start selling. All right, where's my direct sales planner? Direct sales planner. All right, so. Direct sales, MLM, party planner, network marketing, business marketing, planning. So remember we found some new words. Oh, it was only tracking. Okay. But I have all those planning words up there. So in my tags, I am going to leave direct sales planner, MLL, MLM planner. But if I have like direct sale, I don't need that. Party plan planners. Okay, I'm going to put doTERRA. Do we have doTERRA? I don't have doTERRA. doTERRA. Jamberry, I had that. Monet. Pampered Chef. Do I have Pampered Chef? Ah, I can put in Pampered Chef. Darn it. So I need to get Chef in there. Okay, I can do Party Plan Chef. Is that perfect? No. I would like it to be better. Oh, I do have doTERRA. So 31 Avon, I want to put in the one for stamps. What is it called? What is it called? Stampin', Stampin' Up. Okay, so I'm going to get 31 Avon, 31 Avon, Stampin' Up. <gasps> it all fit, yay. All right, now we know from yesterday that this is not sexy. Let's do this. We're going to fix this. How to videos. Printable planner. This is why these all build on each other. Because then you can pop in on letter size. Uh How to videos, printable planner on letter size, organize, organize your biz. Add. Okay, update. Now, sometimes when I update like that, as you notice down here, it's pretty far down. I'm going to um, renew this. And I have listing credits. I have like a billion listing credits because I get people, I hook people into the Etsy. I have 1,800 free listing credits. 
I wish I could share them with you, right? Okay, first video. We're going to have to check out that video. So I'm trying to keep these under 20 minutes, so hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.